All right, here we have uh, iFlyRC.com latest uh, line of motors. These are the Ion series, and these are from iPower Motors. So they sent me four different sizes, and these are the 2506, 2100 kV, interesting size. 2506, 2450 kV, so a fairly large motor. And a more uh, common motor uh, size is the 2205, 2500 kV, and a 2207, 2500 kV. So pretty much they've covered a pretty good range of motor sizes for, especially for five inch props, 2205 and 2207. A pretty good kV, I think. 2500 is pretty, it's pretty good. Not, it's kind of like in the middle of what most people are using. You know, 23, 2400 kV to 2700 kV. So 2500 kV should be pretty good for like f kind of freestyle application with uh, any of the 5 inch props and pretty much these three motors with the 2450 and 2500 kV would do well with a 5 inch prop and this 2506, 2100 kV that may do pretty well with uh, even with 5 inch on 5S and perhaps even 6S, you know, now a lot of people are running 6S and and 5S no problem. It could also work with 6-inch uh, props and maybe 7-inch props, don't know. Same with this one, this could maybe work with 7-inch, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll put it on the trust and see how it does with 7-inch. With that might be a little bit too large for this KV, so 2100 would probably be best. Okay, so let's check out the motors. They come in these uh, nice uh, plastic boxes. You can repurpose them for storing nuts and bolts. Uh, so, pretty simple looking motors. As you can see, uh, nothing much fancy about them, and it seems like they come two per box. And these, I believe, these are all uh, with standard thread. They're not using the uh, CW and CCW. Yeah, they're all standard threads, and uh, they come only with uh, uh, with this uh, low profile nut, uh, prop nut, night lock. So that's good, and it's it is smooth on the on this uh, in integrated washer part, which is is good. You know that they're smooth, so it, it helps keep uh, keep it tight when you strike like a branch or anything. It won't. Uh, when the prop turns, it won't grab it and and, and uh, loosen it, and it does have that texture there. So that's that's good. That texture is there and not on the nut. So this is the 2506, 2506, 2450 kV motor, and all the motors have this uh, same kind of a uh, uh, look to them. The same type spokes and all that. They all look the same. And as you can see, they are using a capture a screw here for the uh, for the shaft to retain the shaft. And they're still doing the standard type of base. Uh, you know, they're, they're not using the naked bottom. So this motor, it's been designed from the ground up. It's a brand new design from iPower Motors, and uh, they've included a lot of the features that people expect on on motors these days. Uh, for instance, the whole, the armature is made out of uh, 7075 grade aluminum. The shaft is partially hollow, so it's hollow to about right there. Usually, some companies will only hollow it up to uh, both sides, but they'll leave it solid through the middle here. And of course, it's a one-piece uh, shaft, uh, propeller shaft, and motor. And as you can see, they're using a capture uh, screw to retain the shaft. And kind of interesting way they did it is they're using this somewhat tall washer here. It's an aluminum washer, and the uh, the screw is kind of inserted into it. So kind of interesting, uh, different way of doing it. Other features that it has is uh, N52 SH magnets, and these are arc magnets. They're curved. It looks like a single strand wire, uh, heavy duty wire. NMB Japanese uh, bearings, four millimeter bearings. So I believe those are those could be four by nine by four, and it's been of course dynamically balanced. 
So this motor comes with 150 millimeters of uh, 18 gauge wire. So pretty good uh, gauge wire for this size motor. Uh, it's not that uh, thin. So let's see what it weighs with that much wire. So that's 43 grams. So if we cut the wires to about 50 millimeters, then we have to subtract 3.5. Uh, so the motor is about 39.5 if you leave the the wires at 50 millimeters. So not uh, not that heavy actually. Uh, you know, for a 25 size di um, diameter stator, it's uh, it's reasonable. I mean, it's not light but it's not overly heavy I think it's not gonna be the lightest either so so it's not really meant for light weight built it's a big motor so this is meant for like six and seven inch props most likely so let's take out this uh, screw and again if if you feel like any major resistance when you're unscrewing it I always suggest to use a soldering iron and just put it there for about five minutes to loosen the Loctite and it'll make it easier to unscrew and that way you don't mess up the head of the screw and also make sure you have a, re a really good Allen key because if it fits too loose then you'll mess up the screw so so this one the Loctite wasn't that bad uh, they're using that white Loctite but that was this motor so, you know the other the others might be a little bit harder so so okay, I'll take this apart uh, and uh, let's check it out. All right, so here's the stator of the motor. And uh, as you can see, pretty nice uh, windings, very nice and neat. And the laminations, they appear to be, I think they're point, point, uh, 0.2 millimeters uh, laminations. Really hard to measure, but just from looking at them, I think uh, eyeballing it. And the stator, it's supposed to be six millimeters, so let's let's see. Yeah, I think that's that's six millimeters right there. Uh, pretty much nominal size. No surprises there. And there's the NM, NMB bearings, four uh, by nine by four. So those are the nice bearings. Uh, they should they should be pretty durable. So, and here's the bell, and I was just noticing the bell has a, a lip, so it's gonna keep the the magnets in place for sure. You know uh, that combined with epoxy, uh, it's gonna prevent the magnets from slipping. So that's a really good feature to have, I think, especially with these really high power motors. You know, as they heat up, sometimes the epoxy degrades and uh, it may soften or you know uh, anyways that's a good insurance to keep the magnets in place so as you can see it's gonna be hard to to tell but there's a because of the color you know it's black but there's a lip right there so that's why the magnets do thin so the magnets are actually thicker than that they they're inside that lip right there so a really nice feature to see uh, hopefully more uh, motor manufacturers will start including that and another thing that lip does is that also should increase the strength of the of the ring any round uh, metal ring if you compress it it'll easily it'll easily deform but if you add a lip uh, it, it's gonna be stronger you know that's why your um, fenders on your car if you touch under the fender it'll also have a lip so that uh, adds strength so there's the one piece uh, shaft and uh, uh, interesting enough it's got a it also has the groove for a uh, uh, yeah they also did a groove right there so I guess you might be able to use a uh, C-clip if you wanted to, or a circlip. So that's kind of good. That's kind of good, you know. If if they can, if they can include that in case you, you know, in case you lose your uh, uh, your retaining screw or you mess it up, 
you know you're not you won't be grounded if you have extra uh, sear clips so that's a nice touch I think uh, you know it could get you out of a out of a jam in a hurry very nice construction very well built motor I think looks pretty sturdy of course only actual abuse will tell you how good this motor is when people start crashing and all that I'm sure we'll get reports but overall it feels pretty well made we'll put it back together and uh, we'll check it out on the thrust end So here are the thrust test results for the iFlyRC.com ION 2506 2100kV motor. It came in at 2160kV, so pretty close to the stated kV. And based on that kV, I went ahead and tested on 3S, 4S, and 5S. I threw in this uh, HQ5545 uh, just to see how it uh, performs. Although I later found out that uh, this propeller is not uh, as good as I thought, the 5045BN is actually better. The next one was the 5043, breaking the 1300 uh, gram mark. But for this uh, large motor, uh, this is probably not the best prop. If you're going to use 5 inch, you probably want to use the heavier 5 inch props like uh, the 5050x3 or 5046x3. And this one, 5045x3 on 5S. So on 5S, pretty good performance, almost two kilograms on the thrust stand at 53.8 amps uh, keep in mind that's not what you're gonna see in the air it's gonna be about 35 to 40 percent lower that number is gonna be burst uh, amps so you're only gonna see those under the most uh, strenuous conditions like uh, coming out of the dive so that you're only gonna see that momentarily like for a second or two maybe that's kind of manageable because you know you got to take into account the uh, unloading effect of the props and the current limits that the lipo imposes onto the motor so the lipo is ultimately the current limiter because uh, you know the motors are gon only going to be able to use whatever current the battery is able to supply so that's why i say don't be scared by these high amp numbers once in the air that's gonna go lower and uh, it'll be all right so then uh, moving on to the 16 inch props i was even able to test 5s with the 6045 and quite an impressive 2100 uh, grams but of course if you want to use that in the in the air on 5s you'll need a large battery probably a 15 or 1800 maybe the 6040 prop on 4s uh, 1735 and 1751 for the 6045 uh pretty good amps still too 44 uh 44.4 so that's that's quite manageable with this prop so so it looks like you know these large motors match well with the six inch props even this uh six inch by three it looks pretty good 
1800 grams at uh, 57.7 and then I did test a 7 inch prop on 4S that's a little bit on the high side but on 3S looks pretty good and plenty of thrust so so this motor would match well on a 7 inch 3S and with that high KV on 4S you might be able to run it I'm not sure but you know you can try it uh, of course make sure you check motor temps uh, you know, you want to make sure the motor is not overheating with all this load. Overall, a pretty good motor, as you saw on the teardown, uh, pretty well put together, good components. Uh, not a well-known brand still, but they've been making pretty interesting motors lately, especially this series of motors seems to be pretty good performing. The only thing that I still don't know yet is the longevity of the motors and how well they stand to uh, abuse, but I'm sure somebody will be posting or reporting on how well these motors do after some of the use and long term as well but from what I could see they, they're pretty well made as you saw uh, nicely put together a little bit on the heavy side they're not ultralight motors but these large motors of course they're not going to be used in any ultralight setups so okay uh, that's the test results for this motor hope you find it useful and until the next video thank you for watching